Shalom, my name is Michael Decker, and today we will discuss about paternity lawsuits. Our office, the offices of Decker, Pex, Ophir, and Co., uh, deals um, with uh, uh, many immigration matters, and paternity lawsuits in Israel are very relevant uh, to immigration matters to Israel and to obtaining citizenship in Israel. Uh, and therefore, our office deals a lot with paternity lawsuits. There are basically two main aspects for paternity lawsuits in Israel. The first one is when the father wants to um, uh, determine if he's a father or not. Uh, especially, for example, if he is suspicious and he thinks that his girlfriend or wife or spouse um, cheated on him and that this child is not his. This can be very, very complicated and difficult because of Jewish law here um, and the determination of a child being a mamzel, which basically means a bastard. Uh, according to Jewish law, in the Torah basically, this is totally forbidden and therefore even the modern Israeli jurisprudence adopted this and every um, approval basically for a DNA test must go through a, an approval of the family court in Israel after the judge determines that the child there's no um, there's no way for the child to be determined as a mamzer uh, and if uh, uh, the child won't be determined as a mamzer the, the judge will basically issue an order that a DNA test can be conducted uh, we less deal with that, even though we do have a family law department, and we also uh, deal with uh, uh, fa uh, paternity lawsuits in this level, but we mainly deal with paternity lawsuits for obtaining citizenship for children. And when does this become relevant? It becomes relevant when the father is Israeli, and the mother is not, and the mother is not Jewish either, and she is not eligible for citizenship according to the law of return. When this is the situation, Jewish law doesn't even come in because the marriage isn't under Jewish law because the woman is not uh, Jewish. Um, uh, however, the child that's born is also not a citizen because the Israeli Interior Ministry almost always will demand uh, that a paternity uh, judgment is issued before the Israeli authorities will issue Israeli citizenship for the child. Because the Israeli authorities want clear-cut proof that the Israeli father is indeed the father. And today we live in a modern age where many Israeli men meet non-Israeli women all over the world through social media, through Tinder, through Facebook, through Instagram, through so many different uh, uh, means. Also flights are much cheaper today. And many, many Israelis travel and meet foreign women, uh, build a relationship, a romantic, good, hot, warm relationship. And the uh, foreign um, uh, spouse will uh, be pregnant and have a child, and this child won't be an Israeli. And many times, the Israeli father wants the best, of course, for his child, um, and, and wants the child to be an Israeli citizen for many reasons, and also just wants to be registered as a father of this child. And because this registration automatically gives this child citizenship, the Interior Ministry is very strict on this matter. Our office has many examples of very um, exciting cases even where, where fathers uh, after a long battle of having a child in Thailand, in the Philippines, in China, in, in many different countries around the world, um, having their child become citizens and conducting the whole paternity procedure outside of Israel when the, the mother and the, the child uh, went to the Israeli embassy, gave DNA samples, the father went to a um, uh, uh, registered lab here in Israel to give DNA samples and the paternity judgment was rendered here in Israel and then the Israeli embassies abroad uh, issued an Israeli passport and citizenship for a child outside of Israel. If you have any issues like this um, and a need to register a child as a citizen via a paternity lawsuit, you can feel free to contact us. We'll be happy to assist. And you can also feel free to ask us any questions you might have on the matter. Thank you very much for your time.